We've had a good look at uh, the equation of a circle and how to interpret it. Um, in a similar way to the straight line where you're expected to be able to do a little bit of geometry uh, using the coordinates um, with a straight line, we're also expected to be able to do some geometry with the circle and uh, equations. Pretty basic stuff, but uh, nevertheless can be a little bit tricky. So we'll look first of all at a situation where a problem might involve the diameter of a circle. And the way the question might be worded um, is to find the equation of a circle given its diameter. So supposing the diameter is from the point A to the point B, how would we find the equation of the circle? Now it may be that there's a little bit more to the question and so uh, a diagram is possibly helpful. So let's draw one anyway. Always try and make it roughly right. I mean, you can't get it exact because you haven't got time. So two ones about here and three minus five is about down here. So the circle that we're looking at, and it's not easy to draw on there, so it's nearly like a circle. A, two, one, B, three minus five. Okay, so we're told then that this line is the diameter. So in order to find the equation of this circle, what do I need? I need to know the centre and I need to know the radius and then I can use my formula for the equation of a circle. So the centre, somewhere here. The centre, of course, is at the middle of the diameter, the midpoint. And I've got a formula, haven't I, for midpoint? Do you remember that one? x1 plus x2 over 2. Remember, you add the x values. y1 plus y2 over 2. So for this example here, then c, 2 add 3 over 2 and y1 plus y2, 1, add negative 5 over 2. So the centre is 5 over 2, negative 4 over 2, which is negative 2. <clears throat> now the radius. Well, the radius is, of course, the distance from the centre to one of the points. So I want my distance formula. Now, we can be a little bit clever because if you remember the formula for the equation of a circle, um, it's x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared, where h and k are the coordinates of the centre and r is the radius. And the important thing is that in this formula we actually only need r squared. We don't need the radius. And so using my distance formula I, know I won't have that square root because that might give me an awkward uh, third to manipulate. So in fact I'm going to use the fact that r squared is x1 minus x2 squared plus y1 minus y2 squared. So I'm using the Pythagoras uh, formula without square rooting it. So let's pop in the coordinates of c just so that we've got them in front of us. 5 over 2, negative 2. So 2 take away 2.5 is a half. A half squared is a quarter. One take away negative two, careful with the signs, is three. Three squared is nine. So R squared is nine and a quarter. 
37 over 4. I can now go to my formula. So let's highlight this in a different colour then. So h, the x coordinate is 5 over 2. So it's x minus 5 over 2 squared plus y minus minus 2, that's plus 2 squared equals r squared. Okay, you don't need to do anything with that. You don't need to panic. 37 over 4. Now, in a sense, that's the answer. It is highly unlikely that the examiner would accept that as the final answer, and you would probably be asked to give it in the form of something. So let's expand that out and then get rid of the fractions. So x squared plus square that is 25 over 4. Twice the product will be minus 5x plus y squared, square that is 4, twice the product is 4y equals 37 over 4. 37 over 4, take away 25 over 4, let's pop this and just do that, 37 over 4, take away 25 over 4 is 12 over 4, which is 3. So that will give me 3 on that side, but if I bring that back here and take it away from 4, that will come to 1. So I think that this simplifies to x squared plus y squared minus 5x plus 4y and uh, what did I say? I think that came to 1, didn't it? So I hope that's right. Plus 1 equals 0. You can always check that my working is right. You always ought to do that with your teacher when you're listening to them. We do make mistakes. So, so there you have a pretty, pretty basic example of using coordinates, geometry, geometry of the circle uh, to create our final equation. So let's have a look at this one. So solve x plus 2x equals 12. So what do you think you do first? Okay, well, I want x on its own. So I would put x equals 12 minus 2x. Okay, so a lot of the time we want to get x by itself. But what we want to do first is get all of these x's together. So can you see anything we can do with this? Get all these together in one place. Oh, okay, it's 3x, isn't it? Yeah, so absolutely. So 3x equals 12. Oh, and so x equals 4. Brilliant, spot on, well done.